you know what? Screw it. I'm going to not only pack up camp, but I'm going to go ahead and make as much as I can and uh, bring it with me. I'm talking about the iron and the silver and you name it. Whatever's here, I'm going to try to do as much as I can. I'm going to put this back together here. I don't really want to come back here unless I'm back for a car repair kit. I think the smartest thing to do is to pack up camp, but I have to take advantage of being around uh, this ore field. I want to get as much iron and silver as I can. I mean, within reason, right? Or clay, clay bricks. Bricks are going to be a big thing when I move, like huge. And I'm not going to be able to have the fuel to run back out to uh, an ore field to pick up clay bricks. That's just not in the cards at all. So I think we're going to pump out as many clay bricks and iron ingots as I can. This is going to be boring and tedious, but I think it's going to be necessary. I got to stock up while I'm here, especially if I'm going to waste all my fuel getting to another location. There's no point in not only fuel, but resources, right? Like, like my thirst and carbs and I'm going to be wasting all of that sitting here. So I am driving, driving away. So I want to make sure that I've got stuff I don't have to come back for. And that means sticking around for a little while longer. I could actually make an iron pick and uh, do this a little faster. It's not that much faster. I think it's seven hits with the stone pick and five with the iron. The steel is the best. So maybe I'll go ahead and make one because I do have a lot of iron ingots somewhere. I think it costs three per. Oh, I should probably get rid of some stuff here. So here we're going to make a couple more of these and just have a whole bunch going. I'm going to need that fiber for the egg bench if I ever do get it made. But I mean, I can get fiber at any point. So if I run out of room, I can get rid of it. See if I got enough room to make that. No, I don't. Okay, we will put those in there. And to make an iron pickaxe, I need a wooden stick. And this should speed things up a little bit. And I've got limited room too in my bags, right? So I've got to, uh, I got to be smart about this. Which is, you know, I've made quite a few mistakes since I started, but um, I'll see if I can try to better that a little bit here. Try not to make as many mistakes. Like running down to the egg dealer and running back up here, that was a huge waste of fuel. I should have just gone when I was ready to go, when I was ready to leave this area. And instead of that village, I think what I'm going to do is, because I need copper and aluminum for the uh, simple parts. I'm going to go back to where I started, somewhere down around here. I'm very familiar with this area. I'm going to take the road the entire way. It's quite quite a long drive. Hopefully I have enough fuel along the way to keep me going because I did loot quite a few vehicles and I left all the fuel and all the nuggets and uh, a bunch of stuff behind, right, that I didn't take with me because I didn't have any room to take it with me. So there should be enough fuel along the way to get me to that location. And, and close to that location is a ship full of food, which is going to be really hard to get into with the with the zombie spawn. But, um, you know, that's there. That's available. I wonder if I should make another one of those, seeing as I've got all the iron I'll ever need. Where are we at here? What a mess my bags are. Like, they look so terrible. That should give me what I need for the other furnace here. Close. I need some logs. There we go. Should have enough food to sustain me here for a couple of days. And there is another... Um, there we go. There's my iron. There should be another, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the trader down here also sells car repair kits, so I've got to check his spawn before day, uh, 
uh, day 20. Well, someone asked me um, in, in the comment section on one of my videos, I think it was the second one into the series, into the hardcore series. They asked if I could prove that I'm playing on hardcore difficulty. And, and honestly, I can't. I mean, I can show you my settings. I think I explained this to them. But here are my settings, okay? And they haven't changed since I started the, uh, the game. So zombie strength is very strong. Respawn... Uh, three times, so three times as many zombies. A sprinter zombies, 95%. Virus death rate was here default, but I moved it all the way to the top. And uh, everything else I think is uh, default except for loot distribution. I have it set to rare, and loot respawn interval is zero, so no loot respawn. Merchant restock interval is 10, that was default. I could have, you know, increased that even more, but there's no point. The game's hard enough as it is. Going hardcore here, uh, well, and PvP is obviously it's off because it's a single player game. You can't join my game. There's no no way to join it. No starter kit, so I, I didn't even take the starter kit. Special zombies, yeah. So there's the the big guys and and the crawlers. They should be everywhere. What else? Like that's this is all I got, but I can't prove that I'm playing this way because. I edit my videos, so I could show you that screen and then edit, you know, do whatever I want off camera, but I don't. I, I just don't play that way, and if you've been watching my videos long enough, you know that I don't play that way. So, uh, can I prove it? No, but maybe load the game up yourself and try it with those settings and compare your experience to what you've seen me do in my game, and uh, you let me know if I'm playing with those settings or not. You know, it's not easy. Or just try it out, but I can't prove it. No, I can't. I can show you my settings. That's the first time I've gone into that screen since I started this play, this game uh, series, or the hardcore series. You know, it's up to you whether or not you believe me. I, I have no control over that. So yes, I do play on hardcore settings. I play on harder than hardcore settings. You know, believe it or, or not, it doesn't really matter. All I know is that it's very difficult on these settings. The only way I can convince anybody that I don't change those settings is, you know, watch my videos and try it yourself. And if you have the same experience that you're witnessing in my videos, then clearly, I guess that's proof enough. It should be. And no, it doesn't bother me that somebody had, had asked me if I can prove that I was uh, playing on hardcore. It, like, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all but i just i wanted to make it clear that i don't cheat in this game i think the biggest cheat i do is which is by design actually because one of the developers was asked about the whole pick up the extra bag and carry it thing uh that's by design so i think that's about the only thing i do if something glitches out yeah i take advantage of it but i don't i don't mess with my settings because then I would be bored of this game. I mean, I'm only here today playing hardcore because I wanted more of a challenge. And now I have it, and it's a lot more challenging, and it, it is quite difficult. But yeah, try it out and, and compare and see if you can tell the difference between my videos and, and your, your game gameplay. Because you shouldn't be able to. It's the exact same. You've seen the amount of zombies that spawn even at gas stations. Like, it's an insane amount. Three dogs at a gas station? When was the last time you saw three dogs at a gas station? Their strength is set to strong. So, you know, every hit I take is, is more than... I think default is weak. So if you're playing with default settings, uh, you should be able to survive a lot longer than me. I'm actually enjoying playing in hardcore because uh, it's a to it's a challenge, and I like I really like this game, and I want to continue to play it. And this is one way to continue to play it. Wow! Look at how much energy that hour gave me. Nothing I went from thirty nine to forty four. Oh, I didn't get did I get a whole hour? Probably not. Oh, it's because of the deer. Okay.
And I think I need a silver nugget in order to learn silver bar. And I'm going to go ahead and kill these deer because I need rotten food. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize I was that full. Okay, let's go get rid of some stuff. Hopefully I don't lose that one. And we'll skin this guy too because I don't want to lose the corpse. That should all drop on the ground. And we'll go ahead and make another one of those. Let's see if we got enough room for this stuff here. Why does that ever take up a lot of pack space? Out of energy again. Maybe I can get some sleep now that the uh, deer's not running around my camp there. No, I didn't get any. There must be another deer. Oh, there he is. Should maybe also look into that drying rack because uh, I don't remember what I needed for that. I think it was engineering, right? Because I'm going to run out of room here, I think. I can keep putting stuff into these. That meat really does take up a ton of room. Yeah, I think I needed engineering, so in order to get that, I'd have to build a bunch of bases. Man, these guys just don't stop. That was a nice shot. Oh, another trophy. Not sure if I want to take it, honestly. Because that takes up tons of room. Oh, it looks like I'm getting hot. 5 log, 20 clay, and 15 stone. Take my pants off. That should solve that issue. See if I can get some sleep now. Let's try one more time here. Oh, there still must be a deer or something running around here because I can't get a full hour. Should be in my food bag. So we'll take that. We'll drink the rest of that. And I think I'm going to make a run for the, uh, for the water and see if I can get uh, those bottles filled up and then uh, we'll make some more water here. Yeah, we'll try to bring back as much water as I can. And uh, we'll pick up some, maybe what we'll do is we'll mine on our way there and back. These are all just for storage at this point. It's a little messy, but it is what it is. And no, I'm not going to take my car down there. I, I don't want to waste the fuel. I'm really curious about that limestone and whether or not I should be picking that up too. Try to get down to the water here. It is quite a ways. I really want to leave this area like so bad. It's so difficult to live here. So 
so I'm gonna try making a bed right here and seeing if I can get an hour's sleep here and bring my energy up. Oh, I think I'm too close. Come on, sleep. There we go. That worked. Yeah, I think those deer were getting in the way of being able to get some sleep there. Uh, I noticed in my last video, I think it was the last video, uh, somebody had suggested turning down the foliage in my video settings, and I should be able to see mushrooms and medicinal herbs a lot easier. Um, I thought about it, but I think... Uh, it's a really good idea. I, I totally agree, but I think I'm going to leave the settings the way they are. I like the way the game looks. And uh, that's like, to me, that's sort of a, a setting that I can control, like a difficulty setting I can control. And and right now I want it to be more difficult. So I'll, I think I'll leave it the where, where it is. These trees, I've always had luck with these this style tree in the past for honeycombs. Like more than the regular trees. So... I'm going to go ahead and take these down. I need the logs anyway. Yeah, I get it. There's power lines right there. It's probably not very safe, but I seem to be okay. And I didn't get one from there. If I could get enough honeycombs to make honey, man, honey would be absolutely fantastic. But that takes a lot of honeycomb. Like a lot. I haven't really done the math on it, but I'm pretty sure I need upwards of around, I don't know, five or six. Somewhere around there. And I didn't get one from that tree either. That's too bad. So we'll get cleaned up first. Because if your hygiene goes down, I believe your mood starts to go down and your mood affects your, I don't know, your well-being, I suppose. It's not a good thing. Okay, that should give me plenty of water. Maybe we'll grab a little more stone. If I can find some stone on my way back, that'll probably be the best thing to grab. Gotta watch out for that bear somewhere in there. There's some stone. Yeah, I'm at weight now. So I know I pushed really hard to get this vehicle, and I think a problem with that, like I can get places a lot faster now, but I think one of the issues with that is I have to pick a place to go, and I'll have to stay there unless I find more fuel. I can't keep relying on gas stations, which may or may not have any fuel because of my, my loot settings are, are such, like it's rare. It's supposed to be rare. So I might not even find fuel at a uh, a gas station. So I've got to I've really got to think about where I want to build my home base, and I'm really considering going back to where I'm familiar with, uh, right by that other merchant and the ship, because there's water down there. I can fish for food if I need, and uh, the ship should give me, even though food is rare, it should give me enough to to go for about another twenty days or so if I can get on there. Uh, what was I doing here? I was going to make some more charcoal. Actually, you know what? We have probably enough to uh, at least start working on our engineering here. At least the trees and rocks still respawn and the, and the ore. I mean, I can't eat any of that, but, uh, you know, at least resources are still there. At least I can die of starvation in a home. Okay, let's see where that got me. Whoops, that's not the right button. So that gave me, oh, look at that. We're actually not that far from level one engineering now. So just, uh, I don't know, maybe another five of those, five or six. So 
Suppose I can make an iron axe too. And I think I got a steel one somewhere. And I'm considering uh, actually keeping it for the steel. Like breaking it down. Because I don't imagine I'm going to be making steel. Because I believe that takes a machining bench and... Yeah. I've gone through a ton of scenarios in my head on how to basically win this mode. This hardcore mode. And I think the only way to honestly do it is... Slowly but surely, you know, carefully... I haven't seen what the abandoned camps have for bandits yet, but I'm thinking that if they're not triple the spawn, which they probably are because even the animals are triple the spawn, but if they're not, then that would be the, the best thing to do, I think, is to go for NPCs and have your NPCs gather for you. It doesn't matter what the loot settings are set at. They're still going to overwhelm you with food and ore and, and that sort of thing until it gets tweaked someday. Even if I can make my way into one bandit camp and rescue one NPC, at least that's some material coming in. Always. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah, we got level one engineering. So let's look at that drying rack or the smoking rack. Takes three logs, which shouldn't be a problem. I got deer for days down here, but there is a limited supply on the map. I do want rotten food too. I need rotten food for bait. And I was trying to do the math on that too in my head. Oh, I got nailed by that log. At least I didn't get an infection. So for every one fish I catch and let go bad, what do I get? I only get what? Like one rotten food? That's my guess. If I only get one rotten food for every one fish and I need one bait for every one fish, like there's no winning there. there I'm always going to be running out. So I think the best way to, uh, like I said, it's, it's going to be NPCs even on hardcore mode. It's going to be NPCs because I can't rely on the loot on the map and I can't rely on, I don't know if this is going to be undercover or not. We'll put it up here. And I can't rely on uh, uh, towns or, or whatever. I can't rely on the loot system because there is no loot in the, in the game. I need two iron ingots for that. I didn't realize. But like I said, the NPC should always be bringing in supplies. And that's how you win. You you get NPCs. That's the only way to win this mode. It's the only way. But there's also... Like, look at all the limestone here. I think if I can get to the glass, I think I can make that in the furnace. And if I can find... Here's another if, which is highly, highly unlikely. If I can find a greenhouse plans then I can most definitely grow my own food. I don't know. I'm really far away from any of that. Right now, I'm just trying to survive day to day. Right now, I'm in a good place. Right right today, in game, I'm, I'm in a really good place. This is about as good as it gets, I think, for this stage of the game. All right, I have never used one of these before. Smoking time, 200 seconds. So that's how long it takes, huh? Let's get some charcoal for that. We'll just make a little more. Oh, I guess I could grab some meat here too. Uh, somebody uh, else mentioned in the comments that the smoked meat only takes so much room. Like it takes a lot less room than the cooked or the raw meat. So that's another benefit. I think it's, is it going to start raining? No, it's just dark. Okay, let's try this out. I've never done this before. I think I built one once in the early days of playing this game, but I don't think I've built one since. So 200 seconds. I don't know what one of these is going to give me. Uh, give me 240. That should be enough to smoke it, right? And just in case we see rain. Oh, I think that was one over. Yeah. I need some logs, and I think there's some in here. Uh, four plank and ten fiber, so I just need four plank. I should have that somewhere. I'm not sure. I can always make some more, too. I know I've got some plank that I think uh, in one of the bags. 
my workbench though. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll use some of those. I might even be able to fit a uh, campfire down here. That's really bright. We'll see what happens there. I don't know if I have to take it off if it'll overcook. I don't know any of those things. Look at that. I'm building a home. Uh, I'll take snapping off and try to get it a little closer. Now, if I spin it, it should turn green. Yeah. Did I get it all? I think I got it all. Low in energy again. Yeah, I think that... I think that's good. I could actually probably pull it out a little bit there too, but uh, it looks a little hokey, but whatever. So 200 seconds, we're about 20 seconds away. I'm really curious to see it turn. I've seen jerky in game before, I think. I think I've looted it before, like on, on the first map quite a while ago. And uh, yeah, I think it takes up a lot less space. There it is. 30 days, that's awesome. So now I want to test that, right? I want to take two pieces of jerky, or even one piece of jerky, and see if I can get broth with it. This is just a test. Oh, yeah. Thank you, comment section of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. That's great. I didn't know that was a thing. I would have had to discover it if and when I ever did. That's excellent. So that takes up way less room. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up and make a bunch of jerky. Yeah, it's good for 30 days. That's awesome. I might even make more than one rack. I actually now want to leave this area a little less than I did before. Okay, we got some water. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, put together something simple here. I got lots of logs and a lot of trees and rock and that sort of thing available around here. So I can go, I can afford to spend a little bit of time here making it a little more comfortable, I think. Oh no. Oh yeah, it's still there. I thought it I thought it rotted out. Or sorry, overcooked. Okay, so that should last a little while and these deer are readily available. I I do need some rotten food too, so I do have to let some of this stuff rot. Yeah, why did you turn off? You're done with that. And that's all the brick we're getting out of there. Oh you know what? Let's get some sleep. Still not getting a full hour. I don't want to kill all the deer because like I said, they're, uh, according to the patch notes, there's a limited supply. They're, there's only so many that will spawn in total. 